Americium is a synthetic chemical element with symbol Am and atomic number 95. It is radioactive and a transuranic member of the actinide series, in the periodic table located under the lanthanide element europium, and thus by analogy was named after the Americas. Americium was first produced in 1944 by the group of Glenn T. Seaborg from Berkeley, California, at the Metallurgical Laboratory of the University of Chicago, a part of the Manhattan Project. Although it is the third element in the transuranic series, it was discovered fourth, after the heavier curium. The discovery was kept secret and only released to the public in November 1945. Most americium is produced by uranium or plutonium being bombarded with neutrons in nuclear reactors. One ton of spent nuclear fuel contains about 100 grams of americium. It is widely used in commercial ionization chamber smoke detectors, as well as in neutron sources and industrial gauges. Several unusual applications, such as nuclear batteries or fuel for space ships with nuclear propulsion, have been proposed for the isotope 242 MAM, but they are as yet hindered by the scarcity and high price of this nuclear isomer. Americium is a relatively soft radioactive metal with silvery appearance. Its common isotopes are 241 AM and 243 AM. In chemical compounds, americium usually assumes the oxidation state plus 3, especially in solutions. Several other oxidation states are known, which range from plus 2 to plus 7 and can be identified by their characteristic optical absorption spectra. The crystal lattice of solid americium and its compounds contain small intrinsic radiogenic defects, due to metamidization induced by self irradiation with alpha particles, which accumulates with time. This can cause a drift of some material properties over time, more noticeable in older samples. History Although americium was likely produced in previous nuclear experiments, it was first intentionally synthesized, isolated and identified in late autumn 1944, at the University of California, Berkeley, by Glenn T. Seaborg, Leon O. Morgan, Ralph A. James, and Albert Giorso. They used a 60-inch cyclotron at the University of California, Berkeley. The element was chemically identified at the Metallurgical Laboratory, now Argonne National Laboratory of the University of Chicago. Following the lighter neptunium, plutonium, and heavier curium, americium was the fourth transuranium element to be discovered. At the time, the periodic table had been restructured by Seaborg to its present layout, containing the actinide row below the lanthanide one. This led to americium being located right below its twin lanthanide element europium, it was thus by analogy named after the Americas. The name americium after the Americas and the symbol M are suggested for the element on the basis of its position as the sixth member of the actinide rare earth series, analogous to europium, EU, of the lanthanide series. The new element was isolated from its oxides in a complex, multi-step process. First plutonium 239 nitrate 239 solution was coated on a platinum foil of about 0.5 square centimeters area. The solution was evaporated and the residue was converted into plutonium dioxide PuO2 by annealing. After cyclotron irradiation, the coating was dissolved with nitric acid and then precipitated as the hydroxide using concentrated aqueous ammonia solution. The residue was dissolved in perchloric acid. Further separation was carried out by ion exchange, yielding a certain isotope of curium. The separation of curium and americium was so painstaking that those elements were initially called by the Berkeley group as pandemonium from Greek for all demons or hell and delirium from Latin for madness. Initial experiments yielded four americium isotopes, 241M, 242M, 239M and 238M. Americium-241 was directly obtained from plutonium upon absorption of two neutrons. It decays by emission of a alpha particle to 237 napers. The half-life of this decay was first determined as 510 plus or minus 20 years but then corrected to 432.2 years. Pu 94 239 N Gamma Pu 94 240 n gamma pu 94 241 14.35 year beta 
minus m 95 241 432.2 year alpha np 93 237 Display style C E carrot two hundred thirty nine underscore ninety four Pu two C E N Gamma carrot two hundred forty underscore ninety four Pu two C E N Gamma carrot two hundred forty one underscore ninety four Pu two Beta carrot fourteen point three five C E year carrot two hundred forty one underscore ninety five M left C E two alpha four hundred thirty two Two C E year carrot two hundred thirty seven underscore ninety three N P right. The times are half lives to second isotope two hundred forty two M was produced upon neutron bombardment of the already created two hundred forty one M. Upon rapid beta decay, 242m converts into the isotope of curium two hundred forty two Cm, which had been discovered previously. The half-life of this decay was initially determined at 17 hours, which was close to the presently accepted value of 16.02 h. m 95 241 n gamma m 95 242 16.02 h beta minus cm 96 242 display style ce caret 241 underscore 95 m2 ce n gamma caret 242 underscore 95 m left ce 2 beta caret 16.02 ce h caret 242 underscore 96 cm right the discovery of americium and curium in 1944 was closely related to the Manhattan Project, the results were confidential and declassified only in 1945. Seaborg leaked the synthesis of the elements 95 and 96 on the U.S. radio show for children Quiz Kids five days before the official presentation at an American Chemical Society meeting on the 11th of November 1945, when one of the listeners asked whether any new transuranium element beside plutonium and neptunium had been discovered during the war. After the discovery of americium isotopes 241M and 242M, their production and compounds were patented listing only Seaborg as the inventor. The initial americium samples weighed a few micrograms, they were barely visible and were identified by their radioactivity. The first substantial amounts of metallic americium weighing 40 to 200 micrograms were not prepared until 1951 by reduction of americium fluoride with barium metal in high vacuum at 1100 degrees Celsius. Topic: <inaudible> Occurrence <inaudible> 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 The longest lived and most common isotopes of americium, 241M and 243M, have half-lives of 432.2 and 7,370 years, respectively. Therefore, any primordial americium, americium that was present on Earth during its formation should have decayed by now. Existing americium is concentrated in the areas used for the atmospheric nuclear weapons tests conducted between 1945 and 1980, as well as at the sites of nuclear incidents, such as the Chernobyl disaster. For example, the analysis of the debris at the testing site of the first U.S. hydrogen bomb, Ivy Mike, the 1st of November 1952, Anawetic Atoll, revealed high concentrations of various actinides, including americium. But due to military secrecy, this result was not published until later, in 1956. Trinitite, the glassy residue left on the desert floor near Alamogordo, New Mexico, after the plutonium-based Trinity nuclear bomb test on 16 July 1945, contains traces of americium-241. Elevated levels of americium were also detected at the crash site of a U.S. Boeing B-52 bomber aircraft, which carried four hydrogen bombs, in 1968 in Greenland. In other regions, the average radioactivity of surface soil due to residual americium is only about 0.01 picocuries per gram, 0.37 millibecquerels per gram. Atmospheric americium compounds are poorly soluble in common solvents and mostly adhere to soil particles. 
Soil analysis revealed about 1,900 times higher concentration of americium inside sandy soil particles than in the water present in the soil pores, An even higher ratio was measured in loam soils. Americium is produced mostly artificially in small quantities, for research purposes. A ton of spent nuclear fuel contains about 100 grams of various americium isotopes, mostly 241 m and 243 m. Their prolonged radioactivity is undesirable for the disposal, and therefore americium, together with other long-lived actinides, must be neutralized. The associated procedure may involve several steps, where americium is first separated and then converted by neutron bombardment in special reactors to short-lived nuclides. This procedure is well known as nuclear transmutation, but it is still being developed for americium. The transuranic elements from americium to fermium occurred naturally in the natural nuclear fission reactor at Oklo, but no longer do so. <laughs> <laughs> Synthesis and extraction <laughs> Isotope nucleosynthesis Americium has been produced in small quantities in nuclear reactors for decades, and kilograms of its 241m and 243m isotopes have been accumulated by now. Nevertheless, since it was first offered for sale in 1962, its price, about US$1,500 per gram of 241m, remains almost unchanged owing to the very complex separation procedure. The heavier isotope 243M is produced in much smaller amounts, it is thus more difficult to separate, resulting in a higher cost of the order 100,000 to 160,000 USD per gram. Americium is not synthesized directly from uranium, the most common reactor material, but from the plutonium isotope 239 Pu. The latter needs to be produced first, according to the following nuclear process U 92 238 N gamma U 92 239 23.5 min beta minus NP 93 239 2.3565 D beta minus Pu 94 239 display style ce caret 238 underscore 92 u2 ce n gamma caret 239 underscore 92 u2 beta caret 23.5 ce min caret 239 underscore 93 np2 beta caret 2 3565 ce d caret 239 underscore 94 pu the capture of two neutrons by 239 Pu a so-called N gamma reaction, followed by a beta decay, results in 241 Am Pu 94 239 2 N gamma Pu 94 241 14.35 year beta Minus M ninety five two hundred forty one Display style CE carrot two hundred thirty nine underscore ninety four poo two CE two N gamma carrot two hundred forty one underscore ninety four poo two beta carrot fourteen point three five CE year carrot two hundred forty one underscore ninety five M the plutonium present in spent nuclear fuel contains about 12% of 241 Pu. Because it spontaneously converts to 241 M, 241 Pu can be extracted and may be used to generate further 241 M. However, this process is rather slow. Half of the original amount of 241 Pu decays to 241 M after about 15 years, and the 241 M amount reaches a maximum after 70 years. The obtained 241 M can be used for generating heavier americium isotopes by further neutron capture inside a nuclear reactor. 
In a light water reactor LWR, 79% of 241M converts to 242M and 10% to its nuclear isomer 242MAM, 79%, M95241 N, gamma M95242 10%, M95241 N, gamma M95242 meters display style begin cases 79% and CE carrot 241 underscore 95 M2 CE N gamma carrot 242 underscore 95 M 10 percent and CE carrot 241 underscore 95 M2 CE N gamma carrot 242 meters underscore 95 M end cases americium 242 has a half-life of only 16 hours which makes its further up conversion to 243 M extremely inefficient the latter isotope is produced instead in a process where 239 Pu captures four neutrons under high neutron flux. Pu 94 239 4 N Gamma 94 243 Pu 4.956 H Beta minus Ninety five two hundred forty three Display style CE carrot two hundred thirty nine underscore ninety four Pu two CE four N gamma carrot two hundred forty three underscore ninety four Pu two beta carrot four nine hundred fifty six CE H carrot two hundred forty three underscore ninety five AM Topic Metal generation Most synthesis routines yield a mixture of different actinide isotopes in oxide forms, from which isotopes of americium can be separated. In a typical procedure, the spent reactor fuel e Mox fuel is dissolved in nitric acid, and the bulk of uranium and plutonium is removed using a purex-type extraction, extraction with tributyl phosphate in a hydrocarbon. The lanthanides and remaining actinides are then separated from the aqueous residue raffinate by a diamide-based extraction, to give, after stripping, a mixture of trivalent actinides and lanthanides. Americium compounds are then selectively extracted using multi-step chromatographic and centrifugation techniques with an appropriate reagent. A large amount of work has been done on the solvent extraction of americium. For example, a 2003 EU-funded project codenamed EUROPART studied triazines and other compounds as potential extraction agents. A bis triazinal bipyridine complex was proposed in 2009 as such a reagent as highly selective to americium and curium. Separation of americium from the highly similar curium can be achieved by treating a slurry of their hydroxides in aqueous sodium bicarbonate with ozone, at elevated temperatures. Both M and CM are mostly present in solutions in the plus 3 valence state, whereas curium remains unchanged. Americium oxidizes to soluble M IV complexes, which can be washed away. Metallic americium is obtained by reduction from its compounds. Americium fluoride was first used for this purpose. The reaction was conducted using elemental barium as reducing agent in a water and oxygen free environment inside an apparatus made of tantalum and tungsten. Two, a M F three plus three B A two A M plus three B A F two Display style mathrm two amf underscore three plus three ba long right arrow two am plus three baf underscore two. An alternative is the reduction of americium dioxide by metallic lanthanum or thorium. Three a m o two plus four l a three a M plus two L A two O three 
Display style mathrm three amo underscore two plus four la long right arrow three am plus two la underscore two o underscore three. Topic Physical properties In the periodic table, americium is located to the right of plutonium, to the left of curium, and below the lanthanide europium, with which it shares many similarities in physical and chemical properties. Americium is a highly radioactive element. When freshly prepared, it has a silvery-white metallic luster, but then slowly tarnishes in air. With a density of 12 grams per cc, americium is less dense than both curium 13.52 grams per cc and plutonium 19.8 grams per cc, but has a higher density than europium 5.264 grams per cc, mostly because of its higher atomic mass. Americium is relatively soft and easily deformable and has a significantly lower bulk modulus than the actinides before it, Th, Pa, U, Np and Pu. Its melting point of 1173 degrees Celsius is significantly higher than that of plutonium 639 degrees Celsius and europium 826 degrees Celsius but lower than for curium 1340 degrees Celsius. At ambient conditions, americium is present in its most stable alpha form which has a hexagonal crystal symmetry and a space group P63 MMC with cell parameters a Topic three hundred forty six point eight PM and C eleven twenty four PM and four atoms per unit cell. The crystal consists of a double hexagonal close packing with the layer sequence ABAC and so is isotypic with alpha lanthanum and several actinides such as alpha curium. The crystal structure of americium changes with pressure and temperature. When compressed at room temperature to 5 GPa, alpha-am transforms to the beta modification, which has a phase-centered cubic FCC symmetry, space group FM 3 m and lattice constant A. equals 489 pm. This FCC structure is equivalent to the closest packing with the sequence ABC. Upon further compression to 23 GPa, americium transforms to an orthorhombic gamma-am structure similar to that of alpha-uranium. There are no further transitions observed up to 52 GPa, except for an appearance of a monoclinic phase at pressures between 10 and 15 GPa. There is no consistency on the status of this phase in the literature, which also sometimes lists the alpha, beta and gamma phases as I, 2 and 3. The beta-gamma transition is accompanied by a 6% decrease in the crystal volume, although theory also predicts a significant volume change for the alpha-beta transition, it is not observed experimentally. The pressure of the alpha-beta transition decreases with increasing temperature, and when alpha-americium is heated at ambient pressure, at 770 degrees Celsius it changes into an FCC phase which is different from beta-am, and at 1075 degrees Celsius it converts to a body-centered cubic structure. The pressure temperature phase diagram of americium is thus rather similar to those of lanthanum, praseodymium and neodymium, as with many other actinides, self-damage of the crystal structure due to alpha particle irradiation is intrinsic to americium. It is especially noticeable at low temperatures, where the mobility of the produced structure defects is relatively low, by broadening of X-ray diffraction peaks. This effect makes somewhat uncertain the temperature of americium and some of its properties, such as electrical resistivity. So for americium 241, the resistivity at 4.2 K increases with time from about 2 microohm cm to 10 microohm cm after 40 hours, and saturates at about 16 microohm cm after 140 hours. This effect is less pronounced at room temperature, due to annihilation of radiation defects, also heating to room temperature the sample which was kept for hours at low temperatures restores its resistivity. In fresh samples, the resistivity gradually increases with temperature from about 2 microohm cm at liquid helium to 69 microohm cm at room temperature. This behavior is similar to that of neptunium, uranium, thorium and protactinium, but is different from plutonium and curium which show a rapid rise up to 60 K followed by saturation. The room temperature value for americium is lower than that of neptunium, plutonium and curium, but higher than for uranium, thorium and protactinium. Americium is paramagnetic in a wide temperature range, from that of liquid helium, to room temperature and above. 
This behavior is markedly different from that of its neighbor curium which exhibits antiferromagnetic transition at 52 K. The thermal expansion coefficient of americium is slightly anisotropic and amounts to 7.5 plus or minus 0.2 times 10 minus 6 per degrees Celsius along the shorter a axis and 6.2 plus or minus 0.4 times 10 minus 6 per degrees Celsius for the longer C hexagonal axis. The enthalpy of dissolution of americium metal in hydrochloric acid at standard conditions is minus 620.6 plus or minus 1.3 kJ per mole, from which the standard enthalpy change of formation delta FH degree of aqueous Am3 plus ion is minus 621.2 plus or minus 2.0 kJ per mole. The standard potential M3 plus, M0 is minus 2.08 plus or minus 0.01 V. Chemical properties Americium readily reacts with oxygen and dissolves well in acids. The most common oxidation state for americium is plus 3, in which americium compounds are rather stable against oxidation and reduction. In this sense, americium is chemically similar to most lanthanides. The trivalent americium forms insoluble fluoride, oxalate, iodate, hydroxide, phosphate and other salts. Other oxidation states have been observed between plus 2 and plus 7, which is the widest range among the actinide elements. Their color in aqueous solutions varies as follows: Am3+ colorless to yellow reddish, Am4+ yellow reddish, AmVO+2 yellow, AmVO2+2 brown, and AmVO5-6 dark green. All oxidation states have their characteristic optical absorption spectra with a few sharp peaks in the visible and mid-infrared regions, and the position and intensity of these peaks can be converted into the concentrations of the corresponding oxidation states. For example, M3 has two sharp peaks at 504 and 811 nanometers, MV at 514 and 715 nanometers, and MV at 666 and 992 nanometers. Americium compounds with oxidation state plus 4 and higher are strong oxidizing agents, comparable in strength to the permanganate ion MnO-4 in acidic solutions. Whereas the M4 plus ions are unstable in solutions and readily convert to M3 plus, the plus 4 oxidation state occurs well in solids, such as americium dioxide and americium fluoride All pentavalent and hexavalent americium compounds are complex salts such as Kamo 2 f 2 Li 3 Amo 4 and Li 6 Amo 6, Ba 3 Amo 6, Amo 2 f 2 these high oxidation states M IV, M v, and M v can be prepared from M by oxidation with ammonium persulfate in dilute nitric acid, with silver I oxide in perchloric acid, or with ozone or sodium persulfate in sodium carbonate solutions. The pentavalent oxidation state of americium was first observed in 1951. It is present in aqueous solution in the form of AMO plus 2 ions acidic or AMO minus 3 ions alkaline, which are however unstable and subject to several rapid disproportionation reactions. 3 AMO 2 plus plus 4 H plus 2 AMO 2 2 plus plus m 3 plus plus 2 h 2 o Display style CE three amo two plus plus four H plus to two amo two to the power of two plus plus M cubed plus plus two H two O two M V M V plus M I V display style C E two M carrot V to M carrot V plus M carrot I V. Topic: Chemical compounds. Topic: Oxygen compounds. 
Three americium oxides are known, with the oxidation states plus 2 AMO, plus 3 M2O3 and plus 4 AMO2. Americium oxide was prepared in minute amounts and has not been characterized in details. Americium oxide is a red-brown solid with a melting point of 2,205 degrees Celsius. Americium IV oxide is the main form of solid americium which is used in nearly all its applications. As most other actinide dioxides, it is a black solid with a cubic fluorite crystal structure. The oxalate of americium, 3, vacuum dried at room temperature, has the chemical formula M2C2O437H2O. Upon heating in vacuum, it loses water at 240 degrees Celsius and starts decomposing into AMO2 at 300 degrees Celsius. The decomposition completes at about 470 degrees Celsius. The initial oxalate dissolves in nitric acid with the maximum solubility of 0.25 g per liter. <laughs> Halides Halides of americium are known for the oxidation states plus 2, plus 3 and plus 4, where the plus 3 is most stable, especially in solutions. Reduction of Am compounds with sodium amalgam yields Am salts, the black halides AmCl2, AmBr2 and Ame2. They are very sensitive to oxygen and oxidize in water, releasing hydrogen and converting back to the Am state. Specific lattice constants are Orthorhombic AmCl2, A Eight hundred ninety six point three plus or minus zero point eight PM B seven hundred fifty seven point three plus or minus zero point eight PM and C equals four hundred fifty three point two plus or minus zero six PM Tetragonal AMBR two a topic 1159.2 plus or minus 0.4 pm and c 712.1 plus or minus 0.3 pm they can also be prepared by reacting metallic americium with an appropriate mercury halide hgx2 where x equals cl bridge or i am plus hgx Mercury halide 400 minus 500 C AMX 2 plus HG display style CE M plus underset mercury halide HGX 2 2 atop 400 to 500 carat circ CE C AMX 2 plus HG Americium fluoride AMF3 is poorly soluble and precipitates upon reaction of Am3 plus and fluoride ions in weak acidic solutions. Am3 plus plus 3 F minus AMF3. Display style CE M cubed plus plus 3 F caret to AMF3 V. The tetravalent americium IV fluoride AMF4 is obtained by reacting solid americium 3 fluoride with molecular fluorine 2 a MF3 plus F2 2, 2 AMF4 display style CE 2 AMF3 plus F2 to 2, 2 AMF4 Another known form of solid tetravalent americium chloride is KAMF5. Tetravalent americium has also been observed in the aqueous phase. For this purpose, black AM-04 was dissolved in 15 MnH4F with the americium concentration of 0.01 M. The resulting reddish solution had a characteristic optical absorption spectrum which is similar to that of AMF4 but differed from other oxidation states of americium. 
Heating the AM IV solution to 90 degrees Celsius did not result in its disproportionation or reduction, however a slow reduction was observed to AM and assigned to self-irradiation of americium by alpha particles. Most americium halides form hexagonal crystals with slight variation of the color and exact structure between the halogens. So, chloride AMCl3 is reddish and has a structure isotypic to uranium chloride space group P63 per meter and the melting point of 715 degrees Celsius. The fluoride is isotypic to LAF3 space group P63, MMC and the iodide to bismuth 3 iodide space group R3. The bromide is an exception with the orthorhombic PUBR3 type structure and space group CMCM. Crystals of americium hexahydrate AMCL36H2O can be prepared by dissolving americium dioxide in hydrochloric acid and evaporating the liquid. Those crystals are hygroscopic and have yellow-reddish color and a monoclinic crystal structure. Oxyhalides of americium in the form AMVO2X2, AMVO2X, AMOVOX2 and AMEOX can be obtained by reacting the corresponding americium halide with oxygen or antimony 3 oxide, and AMOCL can also be produced by vapor phase hydrolysis. AMCL 3 plus H 2 O AMOCL plus 2 HCl display style CE AMCl3 plus H2O to AMOCl plus 2 HCl topic chalcogenides and nictides The known chalcogenides of americium include the sulfide AMS2, selenides AMSE2 and M3Se4 and tellurides Am2Te3 and Mt2 the nictides of americium of the AMX type are known for the elements phosphorus, arsenic, antimony and bismuth. They crystallize in the rock salt lattice. Topic silicides and borides americium monosilicide amzi and desilicide nominally am6 with 1.87. Topic <laughs> organoamericium compounds. Analogous to uranosine, americium forms the organometallic compound americine with two cyclooctate train ligands, with the chemical formula Ata8C8H8, 2 Am. A cyclopentadienyl complex is also known that is likely to be stoichiometrically AMCP3. Formation of the complexes of the type Am NC3H7BTP3, where BTP stands for 2, 6D, 1, 2, 4TRIAZIN3YL pyridine, in solutions containing NC3H7BTP and Am3 plus ions has been confirmed by EXAFS. Some of these BTP type complexes selectively interact with americium and therefore are useful in its selective separation from lanthanides and another actinides. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Biological aspects. Americium is an artificial element of recent origin and thus does not have a biological requirement. It is harmful to life. It has been proposed to use bacteria for removal of americium and other heavy metals from rivers and streams. Thus, Enterobacteriaceae of the genus Citrobacter precipitate americium ions from aqueous solutions, binding them into a metal phosphate complex at their cell walls. Several studies have been reported on the biosorption and bioaccumulation of americium by bacteria and fungi. Fission. The isotope 242 MAM half-life 141 years has the largest cross sections for absorption of thermal neutrons 5700 barns that results in a small critical mass for a sustained nuclear chain reaction. The critical mass for a bare 242 MAM sphere is about 9 to 14 kg. The uncertainty results from insufficient knowledge of its material properties. It can be lowered to 3 to 5 kg with a metal reflector and should become even smaller with a water reflector. Such small critical mass is favorable for portable nuclear weapons, but those based on 242 mam are not known yet, probably because of its scarcity and high price. 
The critical masses of two other readily available isotopes, 241Am and 243Am, are relatively high 57.6 to 75.6 kg for 241Am and 209 kg for 243Am. Scarcity and high price yet hinder application of americium as a nuclear fuel in nuclear reactors. There are proposals of very compact 10 kW high flux reactors using as little as 20 g of 242 mam. Such low power reactors would be relatively safe to use as neutron sources for radiation therapy in hospitals. Isotopes <inaudible> 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 About 19 isotopes and 8 nuclear isomers are known for americium. There are two long-lived alpha emitters, 241M and 243M with half-lives of 432.2 and 7,370 years, respectively, and the nuclear isomer 242m 1M has a long half-life of 141 years. The half-lives of other isotopes and isomers range from 0.64 microseconds for 245 m 1 m to 50.8 hours for 240 m. As with most other actinides, the isotopes of americium with odd number of neutrons have relatively high rate of nuclear fission and low critical mass. Americium 241 decays to 237 napers emitting alpha particles of five different energies, mostly at 5.486 MeV and 5.443 MeV. Because many of the resulting states are metastable, they also emit gamma rays with the discrete energies between 26.3 and 158.5 keV. Americium-242 is a short-lived isotope with a half-life of 16.02 h. It mostly converts by beta decay to 242 cm, but also by electron capture to 242 pu both 242 cm and 242 pu transform via nearly the same decay chain through 238 pu down to 234 u. Nearly all 99.541% of 242 meters 1 m decays by internal conversion to 242 m and the remaining 0.459% by alpha decay to 238 napers. The latter subsequently decays to 238 Pu and then to 234 U. Americium 243 transforms by alpha emission into 239 napers, which converts by beta decay to 239 Pu, and the 239 Pu changes into 235 U by emitting an alpha particle. Topic: <laughs> Applications. Topic. Ionization type smoke detector Americium is used in the most common type of household smoke detector, which uses 241 m in the form of americium dioxide as its source of ionizing radiation. This isotope is preferred over 226 Ra because it emits five times more alpha particles and relatively little harmful gamma radiation. Element collector Theodore Gray mentions in his book The Elements, a visual exploration of every known atom in the universe. You might think that a synthetic radioactive element that follows plutonium 94 and has a significantly shorter half-life would be some kind of superbomb material, available only to scientists in secret laboratories. Perhaps a mad scientist is studying americium in a lair somewhere, but if you want some yourself you can simply walk into any neighborhood hardware store, supermarket, or Walmart and buy some, no questions asked. The reason is not that americium is fundamentally less dangerous than the elements around it. In fact, the commonly available isotope, 241Am, is significantly more radioactive than weapons-grade plutonium, and at least as toxic. No, the difference is simply that there is a useful application for americium that requires only a very tiny amount, and for which a company was prepared to go through the effort required to carve out and get a regulatory exception. The amount of americium in a typical new smoke detector is 1 microcurie 37 kilo becquerels, or 0.29 microgram. This amount declines slowly as the americium decays into Neptunium-237, a different transuranic element with a much longer half-life about 2.14 million years. 
With its half-life of 432.2 years, the americium in a smoke detector includes about 3% neptunium after 19 years, and about 5% after 32 years. The radiation passes through an ionization chamber, an air-filled space between two electrodes, and permits a small, constant current between the electrodes. Any smoke that enters the chamber absorbs the alpha particles, which reduces the ionization and affects this current, triggering the alarm. Compared to the alternative optical smoke detector, the ionization smoke detector is cheaper and can detect particles which are too small to produce significant light scattering, however, it is more prone to false alarms. Radionuclide As 241 Am has a roughly similar half-life to 238 Pu 432.2 years versus 87 years, it has been proposed as an active element of radioisotope thermoelectric generators, for example in spacecraft. Although americium produces less heat and electricity, the power yield is 114.7 mW per gram for 241M and 6.31 mW per gram for 243M cf. 390 mW per gram for 238 Pu and its radiation poses more threat to humans owing to neutron emission. The European Space Agency is considering using americium for its space probes. Another proposed space related application of americium is a fuel for space ships with nuclear propulsion. It relies on the very high rate of nuclear fission of 242 mam, which can be maintained even in a micrometer thick foil. Small thickness avoids the problem of self-absorption of emitted radiation. This problem is pertinent to uranium or plutonium rods, in which only surface layers provide alpha particles. The fission products of 242 mam can either directly propel the spaceship or they can heat a thrusting gas. They can also transfer their energy to a fluid and generate electricity through a magnetohydrodynamic generator. One more proposal which utilizes the high nuclear fission rate of 242 mam is a nuclear battery. Its design relies not on the energy of the emitted by americium alpha particles, but on their charge, that is, the americium acts as the self sustaining cathode. A single 3.2 kg 242 mam charge of such battery could provide about 140 kW of power over a period of 80 days. Even with all the potential benefits, the current applications of 242 mam are as yet hindered by the scarcity and high price of this particular nuclear isomer. <laughs> Neutron source. The oxide of 241Am pressed with beryllium is an efficient neutron source. Here americium acts as the alpha source, and beryllium produces neutrons owing to its large cross-section for the alpha /N nuclear reaction Am 95 241 Np 93 237 plus He 2 4 Plus gamma display style ce caret 241 underscore 95 m to caret 237 underscore 93 np plus caret 4 underscore 2 he plus gamma b 4 9 plus he 2 4 c 6 12 plus n 0 1 plus gamma display style ce caret 9 underscore 4 b plus caret 4 underscore 2 he to caret 12 underscore 6 c plus caret 1 underscore 0 n plus gamma the most widespread use of 241 ambi neutron sources is a neutron probe, a device used to measure the quantity of water present in soil, as well as moisture, density for quality control in highway construction. 241M neutron sources are also used in well logging applications, as well as in neutron radiography, tomography and other radiochemical investigations. Production of other elements 
Americium is a starting material for the production of other transuranic elements and transactinides, for example, 82.7% of 242M decays to 242Cm and 17.3% to 242Pu. In the nuclear reactor, 242M is also up converted by neutron capture to 243M and 244M, which transforms by beta decay to 244Cm. 95 243 n gamma m 95 244 10.1 h beta minus cm 96 244 Display style C E carrot two hundred forty three underscore ninety five M two C E N gamma carrot two hundred forty four underscore ninety five M two beta carrot ten point one C E H carrot two hundred forty four underscore ninety six C M Irradiation of 241 m by 12 c or 22 Ne ions yields the isotopes 247s Einsteinium or 260 d flat dubnium, respectively. Furthermore, the element berkelium 243 BK isotope had been first intentionally produced and identified by bombarding 241 M with alpha particles, in 1949, by the same Berkeley group, using the same 60-inch cyclotron. Similarly, nobelium was produced at the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research, Dubna, Russia, in 1965 in several reactions, one of which included irradiation of 243 M with 15 N ions. Besides, one of the synthesis reactions for lawrencium, discovered by scientists at Berkeley and Dubna, included bombardment of 243M with 18O. Spectrometer Americium-241 has been used as a portable source of both gamma rays and alpha particles for a number of medical and industrial uses. The 59.5409 keV gamma ray emissions from 241M in such sources can be used for indirect analysis of materials in radiography and X-ray fluorescence spectroscopy, as well as for quality control in fixed nuclear density gauges and nuclear densometers. For example, the element has been employed to gauge glass thickness to help create flat glass. Americium-241 is also suitable for calibration of gamma-ray spectrometers in the low energy range, since its spectrum consists of nearly a single peak and negligible Compton continuum at least three orders of magnitude lower intensity. Americium-241 gamma rays were also used to provide passive diagnosis of thyroid function. This medical application is however obsolete. Health concerns As a highly radioactive element, americium and its compounds must be handled only in an appropriate laboratory under special arrangements. Although most americium isotopes predominantly emit alpha particles which can be blocked by thin layers of common materials, many of the daughter products emit gamma rays and neutrons which have a long penetration depth. If consumed, most of the americium is excreted within a few days, with only 0.05% absorbed in the blood, of which roughly 45% goes to the liver and 45% to the bones, and the remaining 10% is excreted. The uptake to the liver depends on the individual and increases with age. In the bones, americium is first deposited over cortical and trabecular surfaces and slowly redistributes over the bone with time. The biological half-life of 241 m is 50 years in the bones and 20 years in the liver, whereas in the gonads testicles and ovaries it remains permanently. In all these organs, americium promotes formation of cancer cells as a result of its radioactivity. Americium often enters landfills from discarded smoke detectors. The rules associated with the disposal of smoke detectors are relaxed in most jurisdictions. In 1994, 17-year-old David Hahn extracted the americium from about 100 smoke detectors in an attempt to build a breeder nuclear reactor. There have been a few cases of exposure to americium, the worst case being that of chemical operations technician Harold McCluskey, who at the age of 64 was exposed to 500 times the occupational standard for americium-241 as a result of an explosion in his lab. 
McCluskey died at the age of 75 of unrelated pre existing disease. See also Actinides in the environment, Category Americium compounds. Notes <laughs>